All right, and I'm here with Braden Wentz. Um, I have three questions for him today. Um, first, do you think that all news that you can see anywhere is true? Uh, I'd say a good bit of it's true, not all of it though. Yeah, all right, for sure. Um, and then, what do you, what are your thoughts on like false biases and just bias overall in, in the news, like Fox versus CNN and kind of stuff? Uh, like false accusations. They just try to worry people a little bit. There's always some like lie in the news a little bit for sure. Just yeah. No, uh, nothing's a hundred percent sure. Because if they did that, there'd probably be more worry in the world. Yeah. I got you. All right. And then uh, do you think that people who, like, are, like, making false accusations on the news, do you think they should be punished for that, like, legally? Um, I mean, it's just the whole job is this, like, reporting. So they definitely have to put a little spice to it. Yeah. So sometimes, like, worrying them could be a good thing. It'll get them to come back, which is, like, more viewers and ratings and stuff. Move it to, like, an extent? Yeah. But ruining, like, the nation as a whole is just not good. Yeah. Like, like they need that for their business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right. I'm here with President Jaden Allen. Um, so, do you think that all news is true? Uh, no. I think that people stretch the truth yeah. and they get away with it. Yeah. Honestly, it's yellow journalism. Yeah, for sure. That's a that is a big word right there for sure. Um, do you think that there are like false bi like biases in the news, like where maybe like CNN versus Fox News, different sides of like political yes. parties? Maybe? Yes, yes. I think that people tend to lean a certain way and they'll agree with somebody based off of where they fall under. Yeah. So I think as a consumer, like you need to that should be on you to do your own research and Different know research. where you need to be. Don't looking. get brainwashed by yeah. one or the other. I got you. All right, and then for those people that are like um uh on the news and stuff and making these false news, do you think they should be like legally punished? To it depends on what happens in the end. Like I think if it's that bad they could get Sue for like defamation or something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I don't That's think you should be able to get away with half the things that they do, depending on what side they lean on. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All right, all right. And I'm here with Carson. Um, do you think that all news that you see um, anywhere is true? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, I feel like you got different news anchors just trying to compete for one side or the other. I just feel like, I mean. I feel like part of it's true, but they're gonna they're gonna twist it here and there to kind of sway you one way or the other. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's a business, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Got to got to do. Um, so do you think that there are like biases in our news? Um, you know, between different political parties oh, or for, just for views? sure. And now the big the big two that come to mind is Fox News and CNN, okay. especially when it comes to, like near the debate con near the debate. It's kind of a competition between the two to kind of sway your views towards Republican in the case of Fox or Democrat in the case of CNN. Sure, yeah. All right. Um, do you think that the people that are, like, making uh, false accusations or just maybe, like, super biased, do you think that they should be punished, um, like, legally? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it is a business for them. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's too much you can really punish them with. Yeah. But I definitely feel like the fake news or bias should... I feel like it should definitely come to an end, but I feel like it's never, it never will be. Yeah. And it'll never come to it's an end. It's still just a business. Yeah. Yeah.